Yo, hey, hey Steven. How you guys doing? Good, good, man. How are you? Good. Good, good, good. good. Oh. How excited are you about the transformation of Oliver in the sense of, I remember last year at Comic-Con you commented how exciting it was that you got to smile in an episode. Yeah, <laughs> except that it lasted for the, until the 40 minute mark. Exactly. Um, so is he transformed, do you feel? He is. We, the first three seasons were the, were, were the, they closed the chapter for Oliver. Um, you know, he's made a bunch of decisions that, I mean, he made the decision to walk away. Doesn't get, doesn't get any it doesn't get any more profound and final than that. It doesn't mean that he can't come back. But he was so defined by the by the hooded vigilante persona, which as we saw in season two, the first time he put on that hood, um, you know, that version, the, the killer version, the remorseless version, the the one that wanted to do everything on his own because anytime he trusted someone, that person turned against him or split aside from him. Um, that that person's gone, can't exist anymore. So, you know, even if Oliver encounters dire circumstances, and it is our show, so he will, almost immediately, he will handle them in a different way. Can you tease anything about the flashbacks for the next season, and how will the ratio be between the present and past? The ratio will be what the ratio is. You know, it'll, it's almost always the same. Um, We will always have flashbacks. They won't always be Oliver's flashbacks, which is always a real treat for me because I get some time off. Um, I, can't, I can't really tease anything about the flashbacks uh, other than I'm sure that we'll do a flashback heavy episode, you know, like we always do. But um, he ends up in an interesting spot. I just wonder how much time he spent on that island, really. <laughs> well, that's, that's actually a question I was wondering for the in the flashbacks in the island and then in Hong Kong of all the, for the three seasons you've had so far. Which portion of the flashbacks do you think reveal the most to you as an actor about Oliver's character? You know, probably it was right now. I, I of course that the relationship with Slade in the second season was so transformative, but I, it was probably. You know, more the first season when he had to sack up and actually, you know, and actually do something. But for people who remember the pilot and remember the first scene of the show where we find all of them, you know, uh, long hair, beard, looking like he had been on that island the entire time, something happens in this season that's going to make you go, huh? You've been so outspoken on so many social issues in your own life, but I'm curious, what do you think that Oliver Queen's reaction would be to the recent same-sex marriage rule? I'll tell you something right now. If you want to know Oliver Queen's public policies, you are going to love season four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question, please. That was fast. That was also good. Um, well, we talked at the Nerd HQ panel about how you and Emily like to... And like to use little bits to make the relationship sure. more real. Um, what's your, what are your favorite? Like some of the favorite moments that you put in that you really, really are proud of? Well, they don't really stand out necessarily because they're always small moments. But I think what I left in 309 last year to go fight Roz, I don't know that it was scripted that I kissed her on the forehead. But it, it's those it's, it's those little things. It's, it's little things that you know. Oftentimes, when, you know, when they're writing. They're gonna write people, one person talks and no one interrupts, and then the other person talks and no one interrupts. That's not how life works, right? If someone if someone intimates something during a, a, a course of speech, it's not totally uncommon for someone to go, yeah, no, of course, no, great, sure, fine. And so I always try to throw those in. And and with, with Emily, it always tended to be little physical things of like her you know, touching my shoulder or mention or like her mentioning that she dyes her hair. And it wasn't scripted that I like lean back and go, Yeah, but it's those little things. Will you do another fuck cancer campaign? Probably gonna do another campaign this fall. I don't know what it's for yet, but another campaign for sure. Can you say quickly, is it get easier or tougher the action for you? Like going into this thing? You know the action is the action is I'm better at the action because I'm better at learning fight scenes fast. And I'll tell you, after this uh, hiatus, if, if Oliver needs to fight with a hockey stick or a baseball bat, we're all good. Does that make sense? Thank you very much.